Okay, welcome to Code Words with JS by Pranav. So this is the fourth episode, I guess. So in this challenge, we will solve this question: Is it a palindrome? So they have given a string. We have to check whether the given string is a palindrome or not, and it's case sensitive. Means even if it is an uppercase or lowercase, that doesn't matter. Uh, both are same. Basically. So now we'll check what exactly is palindrome. So the given input A B A, this is the palindrome because the very first element and very last element both are same again i'll increment both now this is the equal even this is the palindrome because uh, if you read this element from the beginning it's same as a b a uh, a b and a and if we read the this string from the backward again it's same as a b a as it's a case sensitive we'll ignore the uppercase and lowercase we'll just assume all of them are lowercase itself Uh, but here it's not a palindrome because if I read the string from the beginning, it's hello. But again, uh, if I read the string from the backward, uh, it gives like something like wo, l, l, e and h. Both are completely different, so it's not a palindrome. We will return false here. So now I'll ask uh, the code for it. Okay, so as it's a case sensitive, what I have done here is. Uh, okay, so I've converted. They've given us the string x. I've converted that whole string into a lowercase. Either I can convert the whole string to a lowercase, or even I can convert the whole string to an uppercase. It's completely my choice. I'll take two pointers, i and j. I will be pointing to my start, and j will be pointing to my end. I've mentioned here, i will be pointing to my start, and j will be pointing to the end. Now I'll compare. If i and j are equal, uh, if here it's a and a both are equal, I have converted the whole thing to a lowercase, so it's smaller, smaller, both are equal. So I'll increment i by one, and and I'll decrement j by one. So now both i and j are pointing to here. Again, both are equal. Uh, i both are b and b, so i and j both are equal. And again, my i will be pointing to here, j will be pointing to here. Uh, now my while condition will break. But I have not encountered any such case uh, where i of i x of i is not equal to x of j. But if I had encountered that condition, I would have returned false. There itself, I would have break my while condition. I just enter false because even if we encounter a single case, it's not a palindrome. But I have not encountered any such case, so I'll return true here. And it's the same logic where i is less than or equal to j. I'll compare uh, my first element. To the very last element, if that's not equal, I'll return false, and after that I'll increment i by one and I'll decrement j by one. Again, I'll compare my second element to my second last element. If both are not equal, then I'll return false. If if like both are equal, I'll not do anything. I'll just decrement uh, by j by one and I'll increment i by one. Then after checking all the condition, I didn't encounter any such case. Then I'll return true. So this was about it. I'll just test it. Okay, it passed all the cases. Okay, so this was about the palindrome in code wars. Thank you.